guys, how's it going? Colton here from Wisco Bricks. I'm happy to be back. Uh, kind of some sad news though is I wanted to do a live stream, but sadly that's not going to be happening until next week. Um, so, because I have army drill again this weekend, so I've just been getting ready for that. Um, so I'm going to have to leave my house here again, but it's only just this weekend, so it's not going to be like a whole three weeks again like it was last time. But today we are taking a look at the Harry Potter Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix right here. Um, this is very similar to how the Hedwig is, which we'll actually compare them both side by side. Uh, I think that the Hawks here looks, or Fox, not Hawks, but the Fox here looks pretty cool. This is set number 76394 with 597 pieces. As you can see, we get Dumbledore and the actual, uh, figure of Fox there, or the mold of Fox there. And it looks pretty similar to how, um, the Hedwig is where you can put down the minifigure as well as the stand right there and it should just go right on this stud right here uh as you can see lots of articulation the wings flap the head moves so that's also very similar to the headwig this is nine almost nine and a half inches long uh it's seven inches tall which i'm pretty sure that the headwig is as well i might have to dig out the box of where the headwig is so i can uh, make sure of that or i can just look it up because honestly not too sure um and geez almost a 14 inch wingspan there that's pretty cool but yeah so let's open it up i'm actually pretty excited for this one this one's pretty this one's pretty cool i like the colors on it too yeah. and so far this is the only brand new harry potter set that i've gotten as of lately um just because i've been gone uh and i'm kind of more focused on the uh on the speed champions right now but i'm sure i'll get back into some of these other cool sets and of course we have the new star wars sets coming out here soon um which i'm very excited for but for this one it looks like we got four bags nothing too crazy it's only almost 600 pieces the instruction book's a little thick though let's see if there's anything in the back here anything relating to all the other new harry potter sets oh yeah look at that there is so that's pretty cool I feel like they've been doing some weird stuff with the backs of uh, instruction books here because they uh, don't really show too much anymore. But yeah, so it just kind of shows uh, them combining all of the new actual Hogwarts sets, uh, making the really cool castle right there, which looks pretty awesome. Uh, so probably we'll have to pick that one up eventually here. Um, Harry Potter isn't like my main go-to Lego theme, so... That's why I don't get too many Harry Potter sets. Actually, we still have quite a bit more to build. Um, and I haven't even built all those, uh, the four books, the school books um, that came out in January. I still have all of those still that I got to build. But let's build this. I'm going to time lapse it, put it in my TikTok. Um, and once I'm done with the TikTok, I will eventually edit the description and have that down below. So if you ever come back to this video, check to see if the tiktok is there but let's build this and we'll be right back Alrighty, everybody so we are back here we just finished fox let's take a look at the really really cool animal mold right here some really good printing on it i think that looks absolutely fantastic looks really good there so that's pretty cool mold there and then, of course, here we have a Dumbledore with some great prints. He even has waist prints as well, uh, which is super cool. And surprisingly, he actually has a double face, even though you can't really even see the second face because, or really tell because of the beard. I mean, I guess you can always take off the beard, but here's what the torso looks like without the beard there. Really nice robes and awesome prints on the back there. Of course he has the nice kind of uh god looking uh hair piece there and the nice white with the nice white beard there which would be great for santa claus um one thing already that i don't really like is the base here and that's just because when you set it on here it just looks clunky you know when you set it on the actual base so that's something that i don't fairly much enjoy about this set is i kind of wish and when i bring down the uh the headwig uh 
you'll see what I mean there of how this is this one's just kind of clunky kind of wishes a little better here we have the nice fox um printed one two by four tile right there I really do enjoy the base I like the base of this one better than I do the Hedwig one I think that the base on this one's pretty good uh the build is pretty self-explanatory it's pretty simple um it looks good it looks like the actual uh bird or like fox the head was a little disappointing though i feel like it's a little skinny it's only one stud wide in the front here and then you kind of build on the sides right there um it's not as poseable as you'd probably think i mean you can turn it like this and then you can just kind of move it around like this and that's kind of about it i thought I thought on the box it kind of showed like it would do more, but that's okay. I think that still looks really good. I really enjoy the look of it. And of course, you got the crank back here, which actually makes the winds flap, which I think is super cool. I think it looks really good watching the winds flap there. So yeah, super awesome here. I think that's good. I feel like there's parts on the Hedwig that they did a little better, but I think that this still looks absolutely incredible here. So let's grab Hedwig and we'll kind of compare them. Right, so here we have the Hedwig and what I mean about the character stand is this character stand, oops, my bad. This character stand, it like semi blends into like the actual stand itself. Um, I do like the rounded base of this one. I know it kind of serves as like the actual perch that Fox sits on in the movies, um, which is super cool. I like that. I just wish that the where the minifigures sit, it wouldn't just be like... It, like it looks pretty bad if you ask me <laughs> um and what i kind of wish that they would have done on the back side if we turn this around is i kind of wish that they kind of would have feathered off the back end a little bit more on the fox instead of just like these straight ones um i kind of wish that they would have kind of done the same one here i know that obviously this is a phoenix and it's a little bit more streamlined than an owl is but i mean I feel like they could have done a little bit more roundness, I guess, in the back end tail feathers there. Um, and with the Hedwig, the eyes are what's really, really cool on this one. And I kind of wish that they would have made the eyes just a little bit bigger because the head seems small now compared to uh, the actual Hedwig here. The wing flapping is the exact same, so nothing changed there. Um, and the build itself is relatively the same, except for once you start getting to the wings, as well as the head and the actual building from the stand up, because the stands are actually different. How you attach them is actually the exact same as um, the head wig, um, but as you build up, it's actually different, which is kind of refreshing. And of course, like the nice perch right here is also different as well. But the head on head wig, um, it's kind of basically the same. Uh, so I know that we already did like a little bit of, re uh, review on this beforehand, but I just kind of wanted to show you both of them, uh, here together. Um, there's a couple disappointing things, but I think that there's a couple really cool things that they improved on with the uh, Fox here. I think that they definitely did a better job of doing the wings, even though they're still kind of the same but at the same time not really there's definitely some differences um that you can see in the wings um they definitely did a good job of printing different pieces uh in different colors to help match the coloring on here um unlike on the Hedwig here there's quite a bit of gray but with Hedwig's colors already and stuff like that it kind of doesn't really matter uh with the Hedwig but I'm glad that they printed different color pieces um, to match the coloring of the fox here so that's pretty cool if you ask me but yeah so i think it's a great set um just a couple little changes nothing too crazy but i'm happy that i have them both now like they both really look good together here um so i really enjoyed that um of course you get the cool minifigure you get the cool uh fox uh mold right there as well and i think that it's a great addition to my collection here um it's just like i said the head is a little strange and the base could be better um maybe there's like a mock that someone did to kind of incorporate 
the where the minifigure sits a little bit better into the actual stand here so it looks nicer kind of like the Hedwig one um but I think that whatever character they kind of do next if they even do another kind of bird here I mean I guess I can't really think of one off the top of my head I'm sure that someone else definitely can I'm sure there's definitely other ones but uh, I think that if they add more to the collection they'll probably just keep getting better and better um so that's pretty cool and like I said you get the cool minifigure you get the cool flapping wings, and it's a pretty good display piece I mean Hedwig had a couple stickers for the envelope and stuff but Fox actually had no stickers whatsoever and the nice printed piece and printed Dumbledore down the legs and on the waist even but yeah so tell me what you guys think about this I know that this is pretty late but like I said before this is just uh, just catching up after my army drill that we had so kind of sucks that I have to post this stuff late but you know what it's not the end of the world I'm still enjoying building it even though it's not day one but it's still special to me that I get to build it and I get to share my own opinions on it as well but I hope that you guys have a great day thank you guys so much for watching you guys mean the absolute world to me and I'll catch you uh i won't be able to see you guys until next week uh sadly uh just because i have drill again so that's sad news maybe we might stop by the lego store see if they have anything cool um because obviously i haven't really been keeping up since i've been gone but maybe we might go to the lego store who knows uh but i hope that you guys have a great day and i'll catch you guys next week